Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Playtech TV. I'm here with a very special guest, it's Jared from the service department. Evening. <laughs> or afternoon. Um, and today we're going to be talking about uh, NAS, uh, which is uh, also referred to as Network Attached Storage. So, Jared, what is NAS? Okay, what is a NAS? Uh, effectively, it's a, essentially a little computer. Um, it has uh, space for hard drives, hard drives only. It has RAM and it has a processor. Uh, its sole job is the movement and protection of information, data. Um, so in effect, uh, like you said, network attached storage. Its sole job is to store data, um, ones and zeros, digital data, um, on hard drives ranging from two hard drives to upwards. Um, and, and its sole purpose is to protect your data. So it sounds quite simple. So um, how does it actually work? Okay. Uh, NAS units run what we call RAID arrays. Uh, RAID stands for Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks. Uh, this, this can uh, be in a number of different configurations, starting from RAID 0 to RAID 1, through to RAID 5, RAID 6, and even a combination of RAIDs, as in, say, RAID 10 which is a combination of RAID 0 and RAID 1. Um, effectively, using one of these RAID arrays to uh, either give you a performance increase or give you a uh, fault tolerance, which is uh, sort of something that most people don't really appreciate, but it's fault tolerance that you're trying to protect yourself from, not just backing up data. And uh, what is the difference between the different RAIDs, say RAID 0, RAID 1? Okay, uh, RAID 0 runs two or more drives, um, it has to be an even number for RAID 0, um, and RAID 0 runs two drives together. It looks uh, in my computer as if it's one drive uh, with the combined capacity of both drives, but what you're getting is you're getting a performance increase in RAID 0. You're getting uh, two drives doing the job of one drive, hence write speeds are I wouldn't say double, but they are increased significantly, and read speeds are also, as a uh, um, trade-off, are, are also increased um, because you have two controllers, we call them, or two hard drives, doing the job of one. The only trouble is that if a hard drive dies, all data is lost. Mm. It's strictly yeah. a performance measure. Yeah. Uh, it's not a fault-tolerant measure by any means, um, but it does give you 100% disk utilization. Um, RAID 1 is... Uh, two hard drives working together to protect the data uh, on both drives. So they work simultaneously to write the data onto both drives. So yeah. should one drive die, um, the drive can be easily replaced and then the, the good drive will rebuild the data to the new drive. Mm. So you always have two copies at yeah. any one time. If the RAID breaks or if the drive fails, you still have the data in its full form on one good drive. And this is the start of a fault tolerant backup system, RAID 1. RAID 5 runs a third hard drive or more, um, and so does RAID 6. Uh, the only difference is that in the three drives, they mm. run uh, two hard drives for data, collecting and a third drive for what we call parity. Yeah. Parity means that it takes the data of drive 1 and drive 2, we'll call them A and B, and it adds them together to get a sum figure called C. Now the C data sits on the third hard drive yeah. and uh, should A or B fail they can be replaced and the data can be calculated mm. from the two uh, units left. So say A fails, well you take C minus B gives you your A um, data packet so therefore A is rewritten to the new drive when it's replaced um, gives you a little bit more disk utilization meaning for the three drives you get 66% of the available space to use as opposed to RAID 1 where you only get 50% uh, and RAID 0 where you get 100% so what's the most common RAID uh, for NAS applications uh, honestly it would be RAID 5 because yeah. of the number of systems that use two bays they're entry level systems and there's only a few uh, of those lower end units mm. uh, on the market from each manufacturer and then they range from two bays, four bays, six bays through to 16 bays for enterprise. So yeah. uh, anything running four drives or more would be running a RAID 5 or a, a hybrid RAID depending on the manufacturer uh, yeah. but definitely RAID 5 is, is the most common. So that's all good and well but why would you even want NAS? Uh, if your data is valuable, if you want to protect your data properly, yeah. um, I would say professionally, but 
you don't even have to be a professional to view your data this way. Mm. You went to a wedding the other day, yep. photos were taken, videos were taken, yep. lifetime memories, and that's stored on a digital mm. uh, medium, yep. SD card or what have you. Uh, you're relying on a single piece of equipment to not be stolen, not break down, yep. uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's vulnerable to the environment, to say the least. So uh, instead of relying on a single hard drive or a single device, you have a NAS, which has fault tolerant uh, active, active protection of your data, so that should something happen to one hard drive, because hard drives are mechanical devices, they do break down, just like cards, um, and, and you get this fault tolerance, which is uh, really the big, uh, most important factor. So mm. anyone who has important data, that they couldn't live without or yeah. couldn't do business without yeah. should have a NAS. And finally, um, with that in mind, who do you recommend NAS for? As I said, uh, anyone and everyone. I mean, obviously for certain people uh, it would be more applicable. Companies, um, small to medium businesses, obviously large uh, will have this. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, anyone who has valuable data that they want to protect for, for a lifetime mm. um, and who, you know, would uh, significantly be, uh, their life would be less, less enjoyable without said data. Yeah. Uh, you know, everyone can benefit from fault tolerance. Oh, well, I hope that explains it uh, to you guys out there what NAS is and why you might want it. I want to thank Jared for uh, doing this little interview here today. Pleasure. And I'll uh, catch you guys next time on Playtech TV.